So the first thing we're going to look at today is we're going to look at 45 divided into 5. And we're going to make sure we know what our little short division thing means. So we can write it 45 divided by 5. So that can be divided into 5 groups or divided into groups of 5. Now we can also see it written like this, 45. And then we can divide it into 5. So whenever you see it written like that, try and remember that this is our total, that's our total amount, and this is what we're dividing it into. That's what we're dividing it into. So let's have a quick look at how we would work this out. So if we've got 45 divided into 5, 45 divided into 5. So we're going to divide it with five things in each group because I want to count in fives to do this because um, I'm going to see how many fives go into 45. So I've got five there. So that's that's one group of five. And then if I had another group of five, it would make one, two, three, four, there. So that would be my second group of five, which would be 10 altogether. Now I'm going to have my third group, so 5, 10, 15. Let's split all these. So we've got 5, 10, 15. Now we're going to have 20. I've got to get to 45. 25, 30. 35, 40, 45. So let's see how many groups we've got. Once 5 is 5, 2 5s are 10, 3 5s are 15, 4 5s are 20, 5 5s are 25, 6 5s are 30, 7 5s are 35, 8 5s are 40, 9 5s are 45. So if I'm putting five in each group, there will be nine groups all together. So 45 divided by five equals nine. Or we can put 45 divided by five, and then we put our nine on top of our ones there, because there's gonna be nine groups. It's going to make nine. So let's work out 30 divided by 6. So all together we have 30 things. I'm going to have 30 sweets. So each of these is going to be a sweet. Now I'm going to divide them into things in each group. So I'm going to divide them into groups of 6. So I'm going to say that I'm going to put 6 sweets in each bag. So if I've got a bag here, there's going to be 6 sweets. 3, 4 five, six, in each bag. And I want to know how many bags there are going to be. So 30 divided into groups of six. Remember, we can also write it 30 divided into six. And we're going to see how we get on. So let's divide them into groups of six. So if I split all my tiles into one, because we can't do it while they're in tens. Okay, so I want six in each bag. So one six is six, two sixes are 12, three sixes are 18, four sixes are 24, and five sixes, Oh, 30. Oh, five sixes are 30. So that's going to be one bag. One six is six, two sixes are 12, three sixes are 18, four sixes are 24, five sixes are 30. So 30 divided into sixes gives me 
5. And here, 30 divided into 6 is, will give me 5. And I put it on the 1's column. So there we go. Just two different ways to write down what we know. And also how to count up in 6's to get our groups.